Tarek Lee's complex. Mm, that's what that's I always so say to them was they make my sandwich at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back again. Uh, we're doing another edition of Blind Wine Tasting this time. None of that other stuff. Thank you very much to the people that sometimes always for the generosity of going over a six pack of Pet Nat for us to review just in time for summer, and they'll be chucking in that 10% discount code on the Discord channel. Join the Discord channel, join the chat, and you can actually uh, get a nice little kickback with some of the fine bubbly boys we've got next to us. So let's see what we think about them so you know what to buy just in time for summer. Let's get cracking. <laughs> What is PETNAT? Well, PETNAT uh, stands for is a, a shortening, an abbreviation of Petillant Naturel, which is a French word meaning natural petalants. Um, what this actually means, and, and of course we're tasting through a whole bunch of different PETNATs, uh, in essence, when you uh, crush some grapes, press them, start fermenting them through, and they progress through their primary fermentation, then we shove it in a bottle at that point before it hits the end, and then it continues to ferment in bottle, producing carbon dioxide and of course a little bit more alcohol, that gets captured with inside the bottle itself. What we're looking at is sparkling wines that actually haven't had their secondary fermentation, that sparkling bit, induced by the winemaker. It's actually just a byproduct of primary fermentation. Get off. This honestly looks like a sour cocktail. You know how you get the head from the egg whites on it? It looks really tasty. Like my, my favorite color of Pet Nat. You just like, you see it and you go, I kind of understand what this wine might taste like. Oh, it smells great. It smells really, really good. Uh, it smells honestly how it looks. It smells like a peach, like a, like a, like a slightly underripe peach. Okay, it's quite yeasty, uh, like very uh, bready, a little bit of the, um, as Noah has taught me, brioche flavor, I'm hoping. It's quite honeyed, it's almost like honeycomb as well. Ooh, that's cool. Apricot kernels, bit floral, bit of like orange blossom as well. Starting off with a bang. Right here, I'll be jumping at a 12 pack of these. It's nice, but if I say it's kind of like bready pineapple, it's not gonna sound nice, but it is. I just haven't got a really good way of just, I'm not a salesperson, I'm a drinker. All right. Amazing, like racy, racy acidity, and it's got this kind of baked Granny Smith apple thing, a lot of like cinnamon and nutmeg, and it's, it's like almost like a trip to grandma's house, but if your grandma was really fun. All right, next little number, and we're looking at, uh, obviously, it's a white pet nat, or sort of orangey style pet nat. Not a lot of bubble going on here, however, what does it smell like? A really specific, almost, uh, you know those really intense smells? Like if you really get up close and personal with a vanilla bean and give that a really intense snort, like it's a really rich smell. Wow, holy shit, hang on. Really ripe stone fruit. Well, that was kind of like baked apples. This is like like the you can feel the kind of peach juice dripping down like the side of the stone. It smells like roll ups. That's that's you know it's fruity. That's um these are cracking. Both of these are really really good. Particularly that one, but this one's awesome. There's another twelve pack on that one. Just got this nice sort of like uh, you're doing a nice weekend away in the country. You're doing like a wagon ride and stuff like that. That sort of barnyard, which you're looking for. People pay good money for that, and you'd pay good money for this as well. It's cool. It feels like I'm being harsh on this wine because I think it's actually quite quite good as far as the craft of it. It's like I love the bubbles. The bubbles are like absolutely spot on. It's got this really refreshing kind of bead to it. Um, but it's just the flavor is not something that I would personally reach towards. Um, I think this is a really good wine. If you like the kind of sound of this honeyed kind of stone fruity style of pet nut with a little bit of grip and pretty decent acid, this is all yours. Pet nut number three. It smells like Subway, but what part of Subway? Um, you gotta love this kind of stuff. It's got that kind of apple-y thing as well. A bit more, not, not so much Granny Smith, a bit more Royal Gala or Fuji. It smells like Fuji apples. These have seen a little bit more development, but this is fresh. So this this is really only um, started its its process uh, of becoming frizzante. This, like I was talking about the last one being a little bit barnyardy, this one's taking another step further. It's not bad yet, but it's also like, uh, like when you're watching a toddler walk near a swimming pool and they're still three meters away. So you're like, ah, oh, they're not actually about to drown, but someone should keep an eye on that. You need to keep an eye on this because it's not far off a disaster. It's a little bit mousy. Um, but not too much in a bad way. It might be the leftover beer. <laughs> it is like an underripe strawberry. Um, and it's the truest sense of the word. The, um, so it's, it's an industry term that's not meant to freak you out. It's called a puppy breath bank palette. So maybe the beginnings of a bit of interesting uh, funk developing, but it, it really isn't overpowering, nor really noticeable unless you're a nerd. I'll take three bottles, thank you. And if I pay $35 redos for it, I would be absolutely thrilled. And if it's anywhere less than that, I'll probably buy a little bit more because I think it's pretty fun. Line number four, we've got another one that looks like a sour. This time it looks like an apricot sour because it's the color of apricots. Bit of, bit of reduction. 
I like reduction. Flinty, farty, but still fruity. The three Fs. I like the peach theme. Gives me some ideas for Unico. Peach is the perfect color. Theme. It looks like a Bellini. That's exactly what it looks like. I know this is an unpopular tasting note because it's pretty obvious, but grape. I've got to say, like, out of all the lineups that we've done, doing Pet Nats, like, there is a real variety between each of these, like, quite distinct flavors. There's a bit of a commonality in the sense that they are that natural flavor to them on the back end, but at the same time, on the nose and on the front of the palate, they are all so different and unique, which is so cool. This has a cool little savory angle to it. If you've seen any of the other 20 or so videos of this, I'm always a fan of when we're incorporating a little bit more savouriness into our sweetness. It's not just all overt sweetness. It just tastes like, like you know, store-bought white grapes. And it's like really bursting with freshness and acidity. Um, nice and sweet, outwardly drinkable. I want to drink a few more of these. It's refreshing and really tasty. It's not the most interesting, but I like it. So we've got a bit of an orange number. Number five, Let's see how we go. This is orange, really orange. It's like copper. It's quite coppery. It's got an unctuousness, <laughs> juiciness to it. Really interesting smell. Whew, it's really cool. Whoa, despite not having any bubbles in there, that's got more like sort of like sizzle and spritz than the last few that I've had. Like we had the other ones being like pineapple, sour, <laughs> Subway. Uh, this one's a little bit more like stone fruity. Bit grassy, bit fresh, bit, bit flinty, bit stony, like wet stones. Um, not like the last one that was like, like reductive, that this is kind of just mineral. I'm not too sure where to put this because it has really high acidity, but the phenolics on the back palate, a little bit bitter. Um, I'd like to see this develop over time. I'm on, I'm on three bottles. It tastes more like of a, a, I don't know, like a primary color fruit. Like if you, in my head, like you've got your apples, your bananas and your oranges. They're just like your, this the base level. It's the Toyota Corolla of fruits, you know? And then out there you've got like passion fruit, which is sort of like a bit of like a sports car thing. And then you've got like dragon fruit. It's like a Lamborghini. No one actually uses it, but it's nice to look at. I'm really about this. It's just sort of like more of a simple orange flavor. It's quite citrusy. Uh, again, fresher out of the bottle. I'm sure it'd be even cooler. But as an everyday driver, it's a fantastic Corolla and really can't be mad about it. And number six, another red number. Probably on the darker side, a bit more of like a brownie coppery tinge. This kind of smells like a bowling ball. High amount of fizz sort of held in the glass out of all of these, like of note, this one actually is the most fizzy. So I'll be uh, interested to know actually how this opened up out of the bottle because it looks like it's really got, you know, a bit of gumption behind it. Nice and salty, like sea spray kind of thing. And then ripe raspberries, ripe, ripe strawberries, like cherries as well. Yeah, cool. All right, that's my favorite. It's got a kind of creamy edge to it as well. This is kind of what you're looking for in that kind of rosé, like strawberries and cream style pet nap. Really solid wine. Really solid wine. I'm doing another 12 pack. It's like, it's like tasting watermelon. Like if strawberry and watermelon had a love child, it'll probably kind of look like this if you picked it a little bit green. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's very good. Um, not like over the moon about it. I like the acid. I like the tang. It's quite, it's... It's, this is the benchmark, I reckon, that you put uh, Pet Nat to as far as like what you're looking for. You'd be happy to pay around the $35 redo mark for this. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That was a fun one. Best tasting in a while. Let's see what the guys think. Pet Nat. Mm. That yeah. was fun. That was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, super. Like, just real variety. I don't know if it's just the colors calling me and they all taste the exact same, but I thought they tasted quite different. <laughs> well, hopefully these are probably in a good price bracket, but that's what Pet Nat should be. It should be a democratic entry level Absolutely. price point. It's, yeah. cha it's champagne on a beer budget. That's what Amen. Pet Nat is. Champagne with a bottle. Wine number one, easily my favorite wine. 100% uh, really? straight off the bat, number good. one. It, it was, was This was good. awesome. This was apple pie in a wine. It was yeah. fucking brilliant. It was very, very, very good. Yeah, so it doesn't for me, no worries. Oh. What do we got here, Lockie? Please tell me it's cheap. Ooh, it's pretty in it. good value. 33's in it. What do we got? Oh, it's the king. Oh, it's the king of pet nap. BK, uh, BK. Well done. Uh, the that other, is phenomenal. The, the, Adelaide, uh, the other Adelaide Hills winemaker with the name Brendan. Um, and <laughs> he makes some fucking brilliant gear. That's that Pino. is phenomenal. That is unbelievable. That, that is, is phenomenal. Natty Wine, what are we putting on the front? Illuminati and naked ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure fair. he'd be pretty happy with that. That's, a, that's, that's like a Bellini. Yeah, legit. Peach Bellini, but like that's with fantastic. that kind of apple thing. That is awesome. Number two. 
Uh, liked this, didn't love it, wasn't kind of up my alley. Like your, cannon fodder. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. Your favorite word to describe like really approachable wine is cannon fodder. Pet yeah. is the ultimate cannon, cannon mm, fodder yeah. style wine. It's like sour honey. Yeah, legit. Mm. You know when you invite people around your home, they come in, settle in, and then you're like, you know, you're waiting for that thing to say, and you just go, do you want a drink? Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what you choose. So what was it, Lachlan? Hey, Ooh. right on the money. Value. Bargain. Value. 25 bucks. What is that? It's cool. What is that? This is uh, it's from called white meat. Uh, Sublime. Sublime. Riesling and Roussan, a pet nap from the Barossa. Cool. Lines of white meat present. That's okay. Cool. This looks like it was made by our channel. Number three. Um, pretty cool little wine. Cool. Nice little racy red berry number. Good fun. Yeah. I had two bottles of that. I, I had three I, bottles I, of I that. I had six. I had six. I had 40 bucks. Wow. Good 25. Uh, what did I say? Uh, price wise for me, it was 35. So we're kind of in the same ballpark. What do we got? Oh! Oh! Extreme. Giving it away. Oh! My God! I, I haven't seen this before. That's yours. Sure. This is this is this is awesome. San Gervais, Adelaide Hills San Gervaise. Nice. Um, Good from great. Viotolo. Italian plastic. What's going on with these wow, labels? Wow, that's a really great. That's a great wine name. Italian plastic. That's kind of sick. I think that's really cool. Um, it looks amazing, and it's it great. It's fantastic. excellent value. Um, yeah. So if you want a really good value, twenty four bucks. Twenty four yeah. bucks, man. Sheesh. Number four. Uh, the only real taste note I have for this is grape. Yeah, all about it. If there was more bubbles, I'm sticking with 12. And I went as far north as 40, so 38. I I'm said on. I said flat 30 for 35. this one. 35. Ooh. 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 Money on these is ridiculous. What have we got? Ah, oh, brave new wine. Yeah, uh, sick. Some hey, this is one of the most amazing executions from them as well. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is this is really on point. Yeah, they've been known to be absolute no frills, push the boundaries, and kind of get really creative. They put like salt bush and riesling. Mm. Uh, they like they've made some gnarly wines, um, but this is great. Mates and lovers. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's kind of like us, really. Number five. This was just good fun, hey? <laughs> so zingy, so racy, so citrusy. Um, I said six bottles, I thought it was 45 bucks. I reckon this is our old world. So you got that import tax on that, for sure. 33. 33. Is imported. It is imported. And it's, uh, Ready? it's yeah. good. Lambrusco. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Cheeky Lambrusco. Oh, I've had this before. I've had this at probably a few Natty Wine Bars, just like I just like a glass of sparkling. That's really great. Al Trinieri. That's really cool. I'm surprised that it's not more frizzante. Yeah, it would have taken a little while to come over the equator. Which is Italian a for a while in, uh, in the bottle. Equator. Uh, frizzante is. Equator is not an Italian. No, frizzante, frizzante is Italian for fizzy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, sorry, did you actually just use the Italian word for fizzy? Uh, yeah, another little strawberry red number that was really quite dope. All about it. 12 pack, 35 bucks. Give it to me now. Why strawberry line cream. Up wait, why do line up for me? Yeah. Nah, not for me. Oh. I, I love the first one for me. Lucky, what do we got? What was this by the boy? Oh, yeah. yeah, really into it. Yeah, cool. What's Severely this? into it. Hey, what is this? Oh, Mountain nice. Miadora. Awesome. So I'm pretty sure this is Dolcetto. Um, awesome. 70% uh, Dolcetto, 20% Chardonnay, and a little bit of Gewurz in there as well. Yeah, King Valley Sparkling. Not as you know it. Um, That's cool. Yeah, these guys make uh, some of the best value hands off wines in the country. They've really, like, a few years ago, they were making some wines that were like, some were great and some were kind of like so so. Now, they've really Stalled hit the straps, and every single one I've had recently has been off tap, and this is no exception. That's awesome. Wine will line up for me. Oh, what an amazing, amazing lineup. And so these are all available. These, these these should all be available on Sometimes Always. All of the none of these broke the forty dollar bracket. So yeah, these that's are nuts. really well priced. Um, I think we've all got like wines that we love um, in this range, and I think you wouldn't be happy about grabbing any of these. These are fucking great. And you know, like take away the whole champagne thing. Take like get three bottles of these instead of one bottle of. Or even like if you're like trying to round out a six pack. Yeah. If you're trying to round out a six pack for that cheeky discount, you just chuck one of these on. It's sort of a no brainer. And it's just like, we've got the holidays coming up, there's going to be a lot of events you're going to have to go visit family and friends and all that kind of thing. These are perfect. Hot day on ice down the beach. Woo boy. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time, maybe with some still wines, maybe some more sparkling, who knows? Maybe some beers. Lucky knows. Maybe some more beers, maybe, maybe some, some box more, wines. Maybe some more seltzers. Maybe some liquid. Sort of piquette style liquid. Thing. Liquid. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Ciao.